qualifying heat race. Max McLaughlin out of Mooresville, North Carolina in the Textron off-road 6.8 will line up on the pole outside him. Driver on a hot streak here at Merrittville in the small block to Bellamy towing number three, CB3, Chad Brackman. Out of Baldwinsville, New York in the 98H J&B installation machine, that'll be Jimmy Phelps and outside him the Snyder Industries 25 of Eric Rudolph from Ransomville, New York. Third on the inside, Pete Bicknell to St. Catharines in the Lucas Oil Products 42. And outside him, it'll be Stuart Fries in the Hallmark 44. Making up the final row, Pat Ward from Genoa, New York, and Tommy Flanagan in the 37S on the St. Catharines. Green is out. Here we go. McLaughlin gets a good jump into the bottom of one, and he will slide right up across the track. But it pays off as he grabs the bike. Now they're three wide behind him as Brockman gets around Rudolph and Phelps to go after second. McLaughlin with the lead, but Brackman knows the quick way off the bottom of turn four here at Merrittville. McLaughlin sliding the back end out, and Brockman, like a surgeon, on the bottom, very tactical but smooth, holding off a hard charge in Eric Rudolph. Rudolph working the outside as best he can to carry the momentum around, but it's all Brackman with the battle for second as McLaughlin driving away to eight to ten lengths now in the bottom of turn one. Brockman still perfect on the bottom. Holding off Eric Rudolph's 25, who's about a half a car length behind. Now Becknell charging up the bottom of the back straightaway as he clears the Phelps 98H. Pat Ward moving around Flanagan and Stuart Friesen struggling as he fades to the back here in the 44 car. Up front, still Max McLaughlin leading. This will be halfway point this time off of turn number four. Now three cars setting up a good battle for the redraw position. Brackman has it. Rudolph's got the the third spot and Bicknell wants a piece of the fourth but he's got a long way to go still as Rudolph pulls it away with Brockman down the back straightaway but it's all Max McLaughlin here as they come around with three laps to go McLaughlin right up to the outside of turn four looking for the bite on the edge and he actually gets it by dipping the right rear end of the edge of the moat here at Maryville right down to the bottom of turn one Brockman still wired to the inside rail in turn one holding off Eric Rudolph for the final transfer spot there. Brackman's got second, Rudolph's got third, top three will redraw, top five will qualify, two to go for Max McLaughlin in the 6H. McLaughlin with about a 15 car length lead now as he's pulling away from Chad Brockman, who's done a good job holding on to second, but now Rudolph trying the old lane switch and goes to the inside, cannot quite get lower than Brockman does this time, but Brackman with the momentum back to the white flag. Now Rudolph trying to get lower than the 3B off the bottom of turn number two, but Brackman able to stretch it out to a car length lead is up front. McLaughlin comes off four for the final time. Max McLaughlin from Mooresville, North Carolina will grab the qualifying heat race ahead of Chad Brockman and Eric Rudolph will make it into the redraw. Pete Picknell and Jimmy Phelps will qualify into this one. Ward 